I'm Holly G. Green, the architect of PAWS, thinking to thrive expert and author of Using Your Brain to Win. As in any sector with elite performers, sports, military, musicians, being the best requires practice, practicing the right things. Unfortunately, many days at work, we're running fast and we tend to shortcut doing it right. Instead, we make decisions based on assumptions rather than hard data. We refuse to consider data that doesn't agree with our own viewpoint. And we fail to hold ourselves and others accountable for decisions and actions. We run into meetings late, unprepared. We don't review what we agreed to the last time we met. When we practice the wrong things, we get better at doing the wrong things. We are, in effect, practicing not to win. In order to win, we need to practice winning habits that support reaching our destination. Five important ones of those include focusing on winning every day. Each morning ask yourself, of what I plan to do today, what will get me closer to my destination or definition of winning? Then organize your day around the tasks and activities that move you closer to your goals while eliminating those that clutter your time and attention. To keep employees focused on the big picture, the win. Constantly talk about the importance of winning and embed your definitions of winning into all of your ways of working. Expose yourself, legally and appropriately, of course. I want you to expose your thinking process to avoid the bad decisions that often are a result from believing that others think and see the world the same way we do. Expose your thinking process. When you're presenting an idea, proposal, or even a decision, state your assumptions and, and all, then describe the data that led to those. Provide supporting data for the reasoning behind your assumptions. Explain the consequences or outcomes of your thinking. Then test your assumptions and conclusions by asking for feedback. Discussing the why behind the what will help you and your team make higher quality decisions. Recognize when you're in mental fight or flight. Fight or flight, mentally, is characterized by strong and unusually unsupported fear and or resistance to an idea or point of view. If you find yourself having a strong emotional reaction to an idea or a statement, practice asking yourself, why am I reacting so strongly to this? What underlying assumptions or beliefs do I have that are being challenged? Is this assumption or set of beliefs still true? What do I stand to lose by having my point of view challenged? Is it time for me to update my own thinking? Prove yourself wrong. When evaluating an idea, a project, or even your strategic plan, first look for evidence that suggests things are going right. Then actively seek evidence that contradicts that. You know, the human brain typically sees what it wants to see, and it focuses on evidence that supports the prevailing view of the world. Purposefully seeking data that proves ourselves wrong can help us prevent some bad decisions before they get implemented. Play with your brain. To keep your most important leadership tool, your brain, in winning shape, practice re-energizing and recharging it. Schedule time away from your cell phone, your email, and all those other distractions. Go for a barefoot walk in the grass. Have fun with some brain teasers and mind puzzles. Read a magazine or a blog that has nothing to do with your industry. Take at least a day a month to think about anything but your business. You'll be amazed at what pops into your head and how it can really clarify your thinking. Your brain does love when you visit and play. Practicing the right things creates winners and leads to winning. Remember, everything you do is creating wiring in your brain to either do it well or play to just not lose. You have to practice winning habits to get great at them. And it's a lot more fun to win than just work hard to not lose.